Hello, my name's Ruby, and some of you might know that I recently finished my first year at university, that during this time I lived in studio accommodation. So a studio room is basically where you have everything all together in one room. A kitchenette, I had my bed, I had my desk, I had a bathroom. Lots of people have asked me whether I regret living in a studio. Now I know the main concern with studio accommodation is the question of how am I going to make friends. I really don't think that it is as inhibiting as people think it is and that actually it can be a really viable good option for lots of people, especially introverted people. So I am introverted. I like being by myself, I recharge when I'm by myself as opposed to recharge when I'm with other people. So even though I enjoy being in the company of others, I don't find it recharging in the same way that an extrovert would. It's important to remember that university is in itself a very overwhelming experience. At the same time as being hit with all of this stuff that university throws, you know, meeting new people, a new form of teaching, a new city. It's very, very different. And I knew that I would cope better if I had a place where I could properly switch off, which for me was having a studio room. So before I jump properly into this video, I want to point out that today's video is kindly sponsored by Unite Students. So Unite Students, as I'm sure quite a few of you know, is a student accommodation brand, basically committed to helping students to find accommodation for university and thence succeed at university. They really come into their own, especially when university accommodation, you know, designated halls, there are no more spaces left, and Unite Students means people can find private accommodation if they can't find stuff on campus, which is really, really great. So if you're interested in learning a bit more about Unite Students, then you can check out their blog, which is called The Common Room, and I will leave that linked down below. And Unite Students does offer studio accommodation. So I wanted to just quickly run through the pros and cons in my experience of living in studio accommodation because some people who are watching this video might be considering studios and wondering whether it's right for them so I've got five pros and then I've got three cons just to point out I guess my perspective might be a tiny bit biased just because I really did enjoy living in a studio and I know that not everyone does so I guess some of my pros could count as cons for other people I really like how you can lock yourself away so I said about the idea of university being quite overwhelming having your own studio accommodation means that you can properly switch off number two leads on from that living completely independently i found it much easier to concentrate on my work because there was never really much background noise well that was a lie sometimes there was background noise especially at night time when people would be walking down below after a night out for the most part i found it really a really nice quiet place to concentrate when studying. Number three is having everything in one place means that you can jump between studying and cooking. So instead of having to stay in the kitchen the whole time that you are cooking, you know, just to make sure that nothing burns, since your kitchenette is literally there and then my desk was there, I could easily keep an eye on whatever was cooking and make sure it wasn't burning and then I could actually get on with stuff at the same time. Number five is that you kind of feel quite you feel really independent and it's actually a really nice feeling knowing that you're kind of responsible for everything in your room or parts of, I don't know, your home life, I suppose. And the really nice thing actually, especially, is that I could really ensure that everything was always kept tidy. Okay, so they are my five main pros and then my main cons. So this first one is literally the biggest one and it seems like a small thing and it's something I didn't even think about. But if you burn something in your room, in your ki at your kitchenette then your whole room will smell like burning or if you cook onions or garlic then your room can smell like food which can be quite frustrating number two is that it can feel a tiny bit enclosed because everything is all in one room and you might stay in that space for quite long periods at one time so it can feel almost quite claustrophobic but at the same time, I will say that these rooms are often much more spacious. That point only really applies if you decide to spend a whole day in your room, which I did some Sundays, and you kind of felt a bit crazy by the end of it. And then my final con, my third con, is that I did have a moment of panic before I moved in and actually on my first day that I wasn't going to make any friends. The two weeks beforehand, I was actually really, really nervous because everyone had been telling me, oh, but if you're not in a flat, you're not gonna make any friends. How are you going to communicate? How are you gonna find friends? So I did really worry about that, but I 
didn't really need to worry and within the first few days I realised that. So I thought it might actually be quite useful within this video to just talk you through how I managed to make friends given that I was staying in a studio room. There were four ways that I made friends and the number one way that I made friends was on my course. So the majority of my friends were people that I met either in philosophy or theology. Course is really, really important and these are the people that you're studying with. You have a lot in common with them. The second thing was societies. So I made a lot of friends through Harry Potter society. Uh, again, people who are very like-minded. Now the third thing is slightly unusual, but actually I met one of my closest friends, Beth, on a tour of the university. So within the first week, there are lots of freshers activities and one of those will be tours, literally, it was a case of she just said hi when we were on the tour. I was talking with someone else and she just joined in the conversation and said, oh yeah, are you talking about this? And then we became friends and we really clicked. So the really important takeaway there is to talk to people and to go out of your comfort zone and just make an effort to talk to people. And then the fourth way was actually through meeting people in my same accommodation. So. Even though I was in a studio, I was in a corridor, so there were four doors within this corridor, and on the Saturday, my friend Liz, the person opposite me, was moving in. I just said hi as she was putting her stuff away. Then, after she'd finished moving in, she knocked back on my door and we chatted and we got to know each other a little bit, and then we went and knocked on the doors of the two other people in our corridor, and we went for dinner together. Okay, so that's how I made friends, and now I'm just going to move on to giving a few top tips if you are moving into studio accommodation, just things that I learnt, things that I would recommend. These are just a few takeaways from what I've really spoken about. So the number one thing to keep in mind before you even decide on accommodation is whether it's going to be for you, because I don't think it is for everyone. Number two is to join societies to meet new people who are like-minded. Number three is to make an effort to talk to people. If you see someone, just say hello. In Freshers Week, everyone says hello to everyone. You'll never be in a social situation quite like it. Number four, keep an eye on your food to make sure it doesn't burn so you don't get that awful burning smell. And maybe get some sort of odour spray. Now I'm thinking about that, that would have been such a great idea. Number five, do washing up as it comes because if it piles up, not only is your room going to look really messy and you always have to be looking at it when you're in bed, looking at your kitchenette, and I found that really, really distracting, but also, again, your room can begin to smell. Number six, try and get out a fair amount. Um, if you stay, as I said, if you stay locked in your room for a long period of time, you can become quite claustrophobic. So have other study areas, other places that you like nearby where you can go. And number seven, really make an effort to talk to people in your accommodation. Yeah. They are my main tips. I hope that they're helpful. If you are joining university this year or if you are deciding to live in studio accommodation this year, then good luck, I hope you enjoy it. This year I'm actually not living in a studio flat, I am living with some friends this year and I'm doing this predominantly because I think it's an important thing to do at university and I really enjoyed the studio flat but this year just so I can say that I have done it and have the experience of living with friends, I am living with friends this year and I think it will be interesting to make that comparison and see which one does work better for me because I obviously was very happy in the studio so I'm excited to see but thank you for watching thank you again to Unite Students for sponsoring this video and have a productive week Bye.